So another thing I want to address, <clears throat> I talked about it a little bit in, in creating that stop, the sit set. But what, af what happens after you sit set with a flag or a cow and the horse wants to move his feet? What do you do in that situation? Well, I can tell you what most people do is they try to fix it right when it happens. I'm a more want to allow the horse to move uh, when he thinks he needs to move and use that information to help address that issue of when you stop, you stop. Now this horse is pretty good uh, about stopping when you stop, but I'm going to kind of create uh, a situation where he thinks he needs to move his feet, okay? So let's just say we're stopped and he goes, I want to move, I can't stand still. I'm going to direct his mind towards that flag and then the flag's going to move. Left leg there a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so the reason why I don't make a big deal if the horse wants to change his angle when you go to stop him, I'm just gonna take that information. If he angles in towards the flag, he might be anticipating going back to the left. Well, if I can set it up, I might act like I'm going back to the left with the flag and then go back to the right. And I'll kind of do the same thing with the cow and the cow can kind of, kind of help create that situation for me. The other thing too is if they get stopped and they go, well, I want, they're angled away from the flag. They're thinking, well, maybe I go over there. And they, they're moving their feet around, <clears throat> and I'm gonna move his feet around like this, like he needs to move them around, and then I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna try to fix it by moving his feet back over here in spot, but then he goes, well, I don't like that spot, I'm gonna move my feet, and then I go like this. This is what most people do, is they're trying to fix it by making the horse stand still. And a lot of times that just brings anxiety into the horse. So with the way I'm going to present it to him is I'm gonna offer the stop one time. Here it is, here's the sanctuary. What happens is a lot of times when you offer the stop and the horse might stand there just briefly, maybe a second or two, and then he starts wanting to change his angle or leave or whatever. and we're busy trying to fix it. I kind of tell people it's kind of like, you know, uh, on your wedding day. <clears throat> the music's playing, the bride is getting ready to walk down the aisle. The groom is already in position at the front and the pastor's there waiting for the bride to come down the aisle. All they're doing is waiting for the music to start. Right before then I show up and then I, I tell the, tell the bride, you know, you know, I just had a terrible day yesterday. It's a long story, but let me start. And so the more I try to hold that bride in conversation about my day, the more anxiety that bride feels because she knows she needs to be going somewhere. She needs to be walking down that aisle. To me, it's no different with that horse. When that horse needs to move his feet, there's a reason why he's moving his feet. And the more you try to hold him in conversation by saying, stand still, it usually makes the problem worse. So trying to get people to understand, allow the horse to move. It allows you to gather information so you can better address the issue. But a lot of times as humans, we tend to make things more complicated. So. <clears throat> I want to address this issue because it's important for the horse to be comfortable in the stop. And if you're not, if your horse is not, and he wants to move his feet, just direct it towards the flag, put his feet to work, offer the relief in the stop again. If he wants to move his feet, address it to the flag, move it, work his feet. Pretty soon when you offer the stop, and the relief's in the stop, he goes, well, that's a good thing. I like that because it's a lot less work than 
working that flag if I can just stand here and soak up that relief. So allowing the horse to learn, allowing the horse to explore, then it becomes his idea to stop. Not because you told him to, or you got after him for moving. No, you just set it up that that was the best, best idea. Just when you stop, there's, their, there's your sanctuary. And the horses start picking up on that, then pretty soon, the faster you ask them to go, the, the stronger they're looking for that sanctuary, the stronger they're looking for that stop. So you do not need a big bit to get your horse to stop. All you need is relief and consistent relief so he knows that that's a spot he can go to and be comfortable. So thank you.